I've got this in for a bear today. It's on the floor because it's a weird shape, but um, I've sent off some uh, torque arms to the customer, which have been, by the looks of it, anyway, incorrectly installed. Um, there only seems to be this section on there. And it's very hard to tell if these have been used or not, but perhaps. And then on this uh, side, you'll see the same. They don't really seem to line up with anything. So a little bit hard to see um, but I'm thinking that the cable here is damaged uh, motor is quite hard to turn, we're just going to do a quick uh, quick test of the motor to uh, see if it's any good, so what I've got for that is this super handy hall sensor tester which I unplug the old cable that I'm not using see Green. on there it's got uh, takes a little 9 volt battery at the back um, ignore those really don't really use that a lot but these three will test the hall sensors they want to, they'll flash in sequence if it's working and then the uh, the phases here um, will sort of light up if there's power going through the motor so I'll get this hooked up and uh, I'll show you how it works so now that's connected to the uh, 9 pin waterproof connector in there oh, there are many pins it thinks it has um, connected to the tester here and you see here the uh, hall blue light is on hall green hall yellow so the hall sensors are okay so that's as I'm twisting the wheel see they change like that one two three one two three one two three it's very stiff this wheel though very stiff and um, if I spin it quickly it will sort of induce some power produce some power and uh, hopefully we should see these three light up. I won't be able to show you both at the same time, but there you go. It's certainly doing its job to an extent. Again, very, very stiff, this motor. Doesn't really want to turn. I don't know if that's to do with the brake or what, but we'll get to that. 